Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Alright, let's take this quest first. One at Jimmy. Please, are you with the Inquisition? Indeed. As you've wandered, have you by any chance seen a rat that is um different? Uh, Lord no. Wolfley wandered off and he's Lord very Wesley. special. <laughs> if you could find him, I'd be most grateful. Uh, what makes your ram so special? Well, he's always brought the family luck, and his advice helped us make our fortune. Advice? Your ram offered advice. <laughs> he's a very special ram. Alright. Your ram has gone missing. Yes. I'm certain that if he heard his Jimmy missed him, he'd come right back. He's likely at our family's old summer cabin. It's by the lake in the southern hills. If you do find him and send him back, I'd be happy to pay you. I'll speak uh, to you later. Alright. If you find my ram, please send him home. The menial things adventurers do. Alright. Here in every port. Yeah, no one cares. Tiger. Oh yeah. Crappy tiger. Alright, let's talk to Shara. Fiona, I think. What's your name? Uh, this loads. What? Why? Guess it loads into a cutscene or something. Yep. Welcome, agents of the Inquisition. What has brought you to Redcliffe? What? We're here because of your invitation back in Val Royale. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. If it wasn't you who invited me here, who was it? I... I don't know. Now that you say it, I feel strange. What the... Whoever... Or whatever brought you here? The situation has changed. The free mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinte. What? Hume. Are they possessed? Trust Azas. I'm trying to think of a single worse thing you could have done, and I've got nothing. As one indenture to a magister, I no longer have the authority to negotiate. Yeah, there's something. You've made a huge mistake. <laughs> uh, that is. Sure. An alliance with Tevinter is a terrible mistake. All hope of peace died with Justinia. This bargain with Tevinter would not have been my first choice, but we had no choice. We are losing this war. There's something wrong I with the faces to save of everyone. As many of my people as I could. Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition. Allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? I really dislike him. Interesting. Hmm. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the Rebel Mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? I'm not clear on when exactly you negotiated this arrangement with Fiona. When the Conclave was destroyed, these poor souls faced the brutality of the Templars who rushed to attack them. It could only be through divine providence that I arrived. Yeah. Sure. It was certainly very timely. The hmm. Grand Enchanter told me she was in the interesting. To Magister. Our southern brethren have no legal status in the Imperium. As they were not born citizens of Tevinter, they must work for a period of ten years before gaining full rights. As their protector, 
I shall oversee their work for the Imperium. What does the Imperium gain from taking rebel mages under its wing? Really? For the, well, moment, question. the southern mages are a considerable expense. After they are Foothold. properly trained, they will join our legion. You said not all my people would be military. There are children, those not suited. And one day I'm sure they will all be productive citizens of the Imperium when their debts are paid. I haven't seen any sign of Redcliffe's Arl or his men. The Arl of Redcliffe left the village. Left? An Arl would never voluntarily leave his seat. There were tensions growing. I did not want an incident. Hmm. You're quite a long way from Tevinter, Alexius. Indeed I am, though I have heard you are no Ferelden either. It seems we are both strangers. I thought we were Ferelden. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. Mm. I'm not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious, indeed. Yeah, I don't think he can well, help us. When you're fighting a massive tear in the sky, you can hardly afford to think small. There will have to be. What? What the hell? Felix. I'm so sorry. Please forgive my clumsiness, my lady. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. What the hell happened? I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. What the hell is going on in this I place? Send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. This got very interesting though. Very nice. Ah, oh, he passes a note too. Chantry, you are in danger. This is very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, very mysterious. We'll be careful, but we need to figure out what's going on here. Let's talk to the pole. I remember you. You were a few years ahead of me in the Ostwick Circle. Really come up in the world, right? Marked by Andraste, ordering Templars about. Must be nice. <laughs> You'd mm. rather bow to Tavindler than join the Inquisition. Don't tell me you bought the Chantry's lies about how evil Tavinter is. It's just because they're ruled by mages. Yeah, that's it. to look at them and say their mages are free and the world has Okay, you're an idiot. But don't magisters summon demons and practice human sacrifice? The Chantry says whatever they think will scare us. What's wrong with blood magic? Are you an idiot? Yes, you are an idiot. controlling their thoughts, but they have no problem with us throwing fireballs in their walls. In Tevinter, the mages police themselves. It works. Sure it works. Why does everyone think we're part of the Chantry? We left the Chantry. They hate us. Right. And I'm the Empress of Orlay. Well, you are some kind of idiot, that's for sure. Magister Alexius wishes only mages to remain in Redcliffe. He will approve of you. He does not approve of me. Many villagers have already left to escape his ire. Hmm. I like it. I like it. It became rather interesting. All of a sudden. How long have the Tevinters been here? Magister Alexius arrived at nightfall, two days after we retreated from the Temple of Sacred Ashes. He forced anyone without magic out of the castle, save those he required to serve him. Even the Arl was sent away. So he possessing them or controlling their thoughts? What, what does exactly? The have against you? He does not like to be reminded of what mages can become. He says all tranquil must leave Redcliffe, but who would take us in? 
I didn't realize. From your speech, I should have recognized you as Tranquils. Yes, my talent for magic was insufficient to protect me from demons. Rather than risk me becoming possessed, the circle removed Fucking circles. Fade. My magic is gone, along with my dreams and desires. Those now in Redcliffe prefer not to see us. They would make a good spice. And I, I wish I could actually, you know, tell him to join us. One moment. You are a member of the Inquisition, are you not? I hmm. am an alchemist. You must require potions. Yeah, for sure will, will take you. Here, <laughs> perhaps I can offer my services. Of course. I would be delighted to have you working for the Inquisition. Thank you. While one lives, it is good to believe there is still a use for one's talents. Yes. The first crow refused to speak even when we put hot coals to the soles of his feet and peeled the skin of his face. Wow. He <laughs> opted instead to chew through his own tongue and choke to death on the blood. The second captive repeated what we already knew. Queen Madrigal went on a hunt and did not appear for the evening's festivities. Her body was later found with foul for four steel swords through the chest. Wow, that's a bit uh, hyperbolic. Asked what he knew about one of the four swords being a replica of Hesarian Sword of Mercy. He had not heard about that, or at least claimed as much. He later died on the rack, smiling slightly. The third crew must have realized we would not leave the he would not leave the dungeon alive. He seemed to hope that by anchoring Master Fiore, he would earn himself a quick death. The crow tried our patience with pithy comments while Master Fiore was trying to work. <laughs> uh, at one point he made a remark about Fiore's mother, which I shall not repeat here. I will admit to feeling admiration for his ability to retain a capacity for coherent speech and even some wit while under extreme duress. Amid all his useless chatter, this third crow did raise an important point. His guild has a reputation to uphold. They are ruthless, efficient and discreet. How would they maintain such notoriety if agents routinely revealed the names of employers with something as banal as torture? This gave me pause. I called for a halt to the session. After some thought, I stabbed the man through the heart and set the fourth and fifth captives free. If there is a confession to be extracted, it will not be done with pain. I recommend we abandon this course of action. Mm. That was pretty cool also. Nice story. Hello. Inquisition, huh? I wish to holy Andraste you'd gotten here sooner. These well I tried. My shoulder blades itch. But you let me in. Who are you? Name's Talwin. Formerly of the Circle of Magi in Hosburg. Lived my whole life there. Since I was ten years old and came into my magic. Three meals a day, quality education, a roof over my head. If you're not summoning demons, a mage tower is a fine place to be. Oh, we have a circle lover here. Circle. Why are you here with the rebels? We're all rebels now. The vote saw to that. The majority wanted to dissolve the circles. The rest of us went with them and were cut loose. I figured I'm better off with my fellow mages than on my own. You're not happy with this new alliance. Something's not right about that lot. They're not like us. Magic or no, I'd rather count myself among decent folk than stand with magisters. How did the Grand Enchanter end up working with Tevinter? One minute, we were bracing for the Templars to attack. The next, we had a magister ally. It was a stroke of luck that's given us an edge. In a way. She's probably possessed or something. Goodbye. Be careful. The Tevinters likely aren't happy you're asking questions. No one cares. What the Tevinters like or don't like. Alright, let's see, is there an upstairs? Alrighty. Very nice. Like that they bother to actually include rooms.
Wow. What the fuck? The light of annulment is... That's the problem with the temples and the chandra. They were fucked up. First and Thunder Rivella, slain in Dyrus Moon 940 Dragon. She sounds like a badass. <laughs> that guy is crazy. Find out who's sleeping on top of me. Bring more of it. It's funny. Alright. Let's see. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, ah, leave, I guess. More cutscenes. I know why they decided to put that place in a... Uh, Instance. That's weird. Especially when the rest of the game isn't. <laughs> so, we'll go to the Chandri, I guess. Alright, let's see our quest map. This is the Chandri. This is the that guy. And where is those quests I just gotten? Uh, Lord Weasley and the Spirit in the Lake. Uh, sure, let's go do them before we leave. Because I fear uh, you may get closed off from the area if uh, you progress the story a bit here. Things seem strange. Anyway, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe and like if you want to.